perfect my property lean brothers team is here today in Bedok Reservoir and one of the youngest clusters that you can find in the vicinity right behind us is Bedok Reservoir MRT Station just a minute's walk away and we are heading up to these four room units where our owners pump in about $60,000 in terms of the renovation totally moving condition can't wait to show you the place why not join us and let's go Today we are in District 16, right in the heart of Bedok Reservoir in this cluster called Longville, one of the youngest HDB clusters right here within Bedok Reservoir vicinity. So we're excited to show you more and we have 5 BB Reno ideas that we'll share with you towards the end but before we go into that, let's start with the BB, BB facts. facts. This cluster here, Longville, actually TOP in 2000 with a remaining lease of over 77 years, a total of four clusters of three individual blocks. Each of them have their own little private car park right in yep. front that's connected to the blocks itself. Over here in the blocks, they only consist of the four and five rooms. So the highest floor on this block is level 18 and today we are in the mid floor here. So before we head into the living room, let's talk about the BB floor fan analysis. Here we have a 105 square meter unit, three proper bedrooms, two bathrooms as well as the bomb shelter. Very long span of the living and dining area. And on top of that, we also have an enclosed kitchen as well as the yard at the back. Right, so we can't wait to kickstart the BB home tour proper. And this is actually fronting towards north, northeast, almost like a north-south orientation. You do not have any western sun exposure. I think this is such a great space for you to have exercise area. You can also put your madam table here. Mm. That just shows you kind of the context of how wide this space is. And you'll yep. realize as we walk towards this side here, the whole length of the entire living and dining is mm. much longer than your typical HDBs or yes. the newer ones that you see. This yep. unit here today is actually a corridor unit. But even though being a corridor unit, you get to enjoy maximum privacy because your bedrooms are all tucked towards here, but yet you have an air well just right over there. So you have windows for every single bedroom, yet maintaining the level of privacy. The living hall area, I think you get a great span of distance. Wall to wall is about 3.5 meters. This is probably the kind of size that you find in some of the five rooms in yeah. today's context. Right now, this is currently fitted with, I think, a 3.5 L-shaped seater so far. A good distance to the dining space. If you want to expand a bit more, you definitely can do so. This kind of gives you the illustration of the space even with a mini coffee table. You still have ample space to move around. This entire house has been fully gas renovated. I think owners spent about, about $60,000 um, yeah. just about five years back. Talking about renovation in today's context is extremely costly. So this makes a good unit if let's say you want to have a quicker turnaround time. Right here over at the TV console area, I think everything are floating. That makes cleaning a lot easier. You also have very nice accents that are being added on with mm. the lights at the bottom as well as the top. So I really like how they did all the extra cabinetry on top because you have such mm. a long span here. You don't want to have so much dead space. So they did all the cabinets on top, mm. below as well where they can hide your messy cables and then even more that extends towards the front that they yep. also use partially as a shoe cabinet and also additional storage. Once we move towards here, you have a dedicated dining space. You can fit in six seater. You still have ample of space for you to move around. Moving towards the entrance, digital lock. All yeah. these are brand new, very nice setty area. And also a mirror over here just to check yourself out before you head off for work. Storage are not just just over here, you have a home shelter that is tucked towards here. So definitely plenty of storage space. So shall we head into the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now majority of the kitchen countertop, they are renovated with wooden planks. But for all these, these are concrete slabs over at the side as well as the top. So all these are sturdy tiles. So you have storage cabinets at the top, at the bottom. And you could even still do like a shelf or even like a pull-out table, extra prep space or extra storage space here. Once you move towards here, this is the air well. This air well gives you that level of ventilation and privacy because this is where you have your yard area. So for drying, the owners have done a pull-down rack where it's a heater and fan sort of concept. Definitely, I think this space is enough for you to put a washer dryer and stack it on top of each other. And yep. still space for you if you want to do an extra sink here or right. even a helper's room. Before we head into the rest of the bedrooms, I think let's dive a little deeper in terms of the BB location analysis. Longville is located right in District 16. We are actually right in the heart of Bedok. Just a short walk away down from the park connector that will bring us towards Bedok Reservoir MRT Station. And from the MRT Station, we are just a couple of stops away to allow us to interchange to the Circle Line as well as the East-West Line. In terms of driving, we are just about 3 to 5 minutes drive away towards the PIE. In terms of your amenities, no lack of options here. Just down below, you have a coffee shop as well as shops and clinics. Just a few bus stops down, you also have the Reservoir Village where you can find your nearest supermarket 
Great Shengsheng, as well as lots of other amenities. Right beside that will be mm. your Bedok Reservoir, where you have that whole scenic walk that you can do. And just down the road from there, there's also the upcoming Home Team NS site that's also coming up. So extra amenities for you and your family to enjoy over the weekends. Of course, that is just one of the main draw in terms of the amenities. As you head down on the other side, once you cross the overhead bridge, uh, that's where you can find your Bedok 85 market for your groceries, for your food options. And as you head down south, they will then bring you towards Bedok Central. In terms of primary schools around the area, residents here get to enjoy four within the one kilometer radius. We have Red Swastika, we have Yunel, we have Fengshan, as well as St. Anthony Kenoshan's primary school. Mm. So you also have secondary schools as well as tertiary education, such as Samasic Poly right at the back, and then we have yep. Damai Secondary. Bedok Green just right in front also. So mm. basically, this is perfect from preschool all the way to tertiary. To tertiary. Check out the very first bedroom. Right now you have this huge table, another, another small table. Here. You can definitely fit in a queen size over here, still with ample space to place in. You a know, study like, table, yeah, vanity study table. table. You have these two huge sliding panels of wardrobe. I think very nice gesture is that you have pockets of space so you can put all your essential items mm. over here. Fronting to the same view, three panels of windows. KDK fan have already been installed. Aircon is relatively new. Yeah, no? let's go check out the other one. Yes. I think the other room is slightly bigger, or it feels mm. slightly bigger to me because yeah. this one feels like I can put a queen size towards that corner there yeah. and it still have ample lots of walking space towards this yeah. side here. Probably even a king size bed fits as well. This is probably the area where you might want to place in your wardrobe. Windows will then be tucked towards here. This is towards the air well that we are talking about. So all the bedrooms have that window. So we're gonna go check out the common bathroom, which the owners actually don't really use at all. Yeah, uh, This correct. is pretty much brand new. So if you come for a viewing, this is basically like a storeroom. We'll love to show you the rest of the home, but let's quickly do the BB pricing analysis before we move on. So let's take a zoom out together and look at the four room comparative in the Badok Reservoir vicinity. Right, so starting from the far left, 7.0 series, and then as you move towards uh, where we are located, this will then be the 7.6 series. For the 70 series, average asking price is about $500,000. Balance is 57 years. The flats over there is slightly on a smaller range, average size about 91 square meter. And then for the next cluster at Belvia, which is a DBSS, that is of course built by developers, so you kind of have a condo-like setting with uh, balconies. The size over there is about 86 to 87 square meters. Average asking price is in between 720 to 700. $88,000. As you move towards the next cluster, 7.2 series, that is having a balance of 60 years. Average size is about 100 odd square meters. The average price over there is about $578,000 to $588,000. Last but not least, as you move towards Longville 760 series, this is the only HGB cluster that is one of the youngest right over here. Having a very healthy balance of 77 years, we are standing at a size of 105 square meters, fully renovated at an asking price of $690,000. Let us dive deeper in terms of the BB financial analysis. Now for this unit at an asking price of $690,000, factoring in the buyer stamp duty of 3% minus 5,400, that's going to bring your entire purchase price to be $705,300. Of course, for this four room, if let's say you qualify for the family grants of $50,000, and if let's say you're staying within 4 km of your parents, that will entitle you to the next $20,000. So that will then bring the entire price to be $635,300. And let's say you have about $150,000 in both of your combined OA accounts, that's going to bring your entire loan amount to be at about $485,300. If let's say you're taking HDB loan and you were to spread across 25 years at a current prevailing interest rate of 2.6%, that's going to bring your monthly mortgage to be at about $2,200. If let's say you are a young couple at the age of about 30 odd years and you're earning about $6,000 each, you can comfortably cover this by just from your CPF OE account. Alright, so enough of the numbers, let us continue with the master bedroom. So the master bedroom, of course, is the largest bedroom that you have. That's why you have how many panels One, here? One, two, three, four huge panels four of huge wardrobe panels. that spans across the entire width of the bedroom. Again, the same view from the living as well as the very All first the common bedroom. Three panels of window over here, putting side tables yes. at both ends. Over here at this corner here, this could be a great space for you to put a baby cot if you want yep. to. There's definitely space for a growing family. For We're sure. here into common bathroom right now. You have your standing shower inside as well as the vanity counter and the sinks that have already been done up. So just a quick little good scrap and you're good to move in. Yeah. So let's just dive right straight into the BB Renault ideas. Yes, let's go. 
idea for you is to convert this area into a study. You could do glass lighting doors here and you will still have light coming into the home. Second BB Reno idea is that you can remove this wall. You can have an island over here, have this as dry kitchen. Come with me to check out the third BB Reno idea. This area is perfect because it is big enough for you to put a bed if you want to and convert this into the helper's room instead. Fourth BB Reno idea is that you can do up additional cabinets over at this section just to cover up the home shelter and then you can use this as additional countertops for your coffee machine. And our final BB Reno idea is that you can remove this section of the wall, expand the space, combine both of the bedrooms into kind of like a bedroom as well as a walk-in wardrobe. Alright, so we've come to the end of this gorgeous BB home tour right here in Bedok Reservoir, Long Vale. Just to give you a quick recap, this is at an asking price of $690,000 at a very healthy balance of 77 years. And if you are keen to check out this place with us, do get in touch with our listing team. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. We'll see you there. I'm Michaela Joy. George Ping. Blue, Blue Bricks, Bricks by, by Property, Property Brothers. Brothers. Always, Always happy, happy to show you the place. And uh... Shall we head into the kitchen? Yeah, let's head into... <laughs> do we need to do a proper transition? Yeah, Why? That's the, isn't it better? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Sometimes I do that as a client, right? The client will say, You need to turn this way. Or you need to turn this way. You always look like this. Almost north. Almost north south. One, two, three. So let's take a quick... Uh, I've already started. Oh, oh.